Taunton Town 7, Harrow Borough 1, equaling our uh, our home uh, game against uh, Beaconsfield. It's uh, 90 minutes finished at the Signal Health Guest Stadium. Rob, I mean, what do you make of this? Um, after the first minute, I probably wouldn't have seen it coming, to be fair. Yeah. Um, I thought we were very sloppy uh, first few minutes, first 15, 20 minutes. We, 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 were, we were miles off it, to be fair. And um, But I think probably for the first time this season, our, our goal scorers have taken their chances. And we were clinical, we were ruthless and clinical and uh, you know, after we got the sort of first 20, 25 minutes out of the way we moved things around a little bit and we were a lot better, you know, but goal scorers, you know, they're the commodity and they were superb tonight, I thought the goal scorers, the goals were taken very, very well and uh, second half we were an irresistible force. Um, there weren't many teams who live with us tonight in that second half. No, so, no, no. Uh, I'm going to keep this fairly short because I, I, I mentioned it in the game against Beaconsfield. I don't want to, you know, make this thing a dull interview. We've just scored seven goals. Absolutely. So, are you unhappy with not keeping a clean sheet? Uh, yeah, I'm always unhappy with not keeping okay. a clean sheet. But the first goal was very sloppy. We didn't start very well. The warm-up didn't feel right. Uh, we set ourselves in standards in the last seven games now, and we've got to keep going for every minute of every game. You, you're taught, and you've got to. You know, you've got a bullseye on your back and uh, these are a good side this is a side even though they've come down here with three subs this is the side that started the last game bar one and uh, this is the side who narrowly lost to Portsmouth in the FA Cup six eight weeks ago yeah. so they're, they're a good team they're a good team they're, they're at the top end of the league for a reason so mm -hmm. And, but I thought the second half was uh, really put them to the sword. You know, we, we were good. We kept going. Our intensity was superb. And we took our chances. Yeah. Set pieces were outstanding. It, it, it was near faultless second half. Like you know, I was really, really pleased with them. Good. Uh, any favourites particularly from the selection of seven goals tonight? There's some great goals. And you know, he, Toby's tapping for, the, for you know from the set piece, the header from the set piece yeah. is something we've been working on. We're very keen for our set pieces. Our delivery from Jay has been outstanding this year. So, no, some great goals. Jarrah's goal was fantastic. Sterney, Sterney's goals at the right times in the, in the first half were, were very, very critical. But all round, I thought our, our movement and, uh, you know, our heart and our passion, great crowd tonight, you know, a lovely night for football. So, you know, it's a good way to sign off for Christmas. You know, we're, we're the highest placed Southwest team for Christmas, which is really, really good. And I still think there's a lot more to come from us, if I'm being honest. I think there's a lot more to come. I think there's certainly a, a gear or two to come from us. And we've got one or two players to come back as well, you know. You've got, remember, we've got no Dan Sullivan, yeah. uh, no Jake Wannell, no Ben Adelsbury. So, you know, it's important we keep that, uh, yeah. that pressure on there. And an uh, injury or COVID situation with, with those three. Um, how is Ben, how is Jake and how is Dan? Uh, ben O's knee's probably going to be another couple of weeks. Okay. Uh, Jake's last uh, game of suspension, so it'll be available <laughs> true on Monday. Yeah. And, and Sully's been running in the last 24 hours. So, okay. so, so all good, you know, all good, you know. And we're going to need the numbers. We've got a lot of games coming up in the next five, six weeks. Um, we, can be, we can still be better. I still want little bits we can be better at, but... Very, very pleasing tonight. Very, very pleasing. And uh, Truro on Monday, as you say, the game just after Christmas. What do you make of that? Massive game, you know. They're, they're a very good side. Again, yeah. don't look at the league table, nobody. Just don't look Merry at it. Merry Christmas, uh, Rob! <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Have a good one. Um, you know, you, you can't look at the league table. You can't look at the league table. They're a good side. They're a very good side. They're a very good side. And they'll, they'll, they'll be a problem, certainly, on, on Boxing Day down there. Yeah, and as, as, as Dave Riley pointed out, Merry Christmas, Rob, from from myself, the media team, the staff, volunteers, and all the fans. To you. And oh, same yeah. to you. Have oh, a lovely it's one. A, it's a good way to sign off. Definitely. Thanks yeah, for the Christmas present. We'll see you all yeah, Monday. Absolutely. Cheers, mate. Thank best. you. Cheers.